And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. We saw how men did their worst to him by instigating the most torturous suffering and death. In the midst of this coalition of evil, there are some disciples disillusioned by the sight of their Lord and Master dying on a cross, and one kind man who cares for the body of Jesus and buries him in his own tomb. Someone might ask the question, why did Jesus have to die? I hope you understand that Jesus did have to die upon the cross, but perhaps you do not understand why it was necessary for him to die. Let us think about what the Bible teaches on this most important subject. Firstly, we read that Jesus was the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world, Revelation chapter 13 verse 8. This verse teaches us that it was God's plan from before the creation of the world to send Jesus as our Lamb to die. God knew that man, whom he would create, would sin against him. Because God loved mankind and did not want to send man into eternal judgment in hell, he planned a way to redeem us back to himself, and that was through the death of Jesus. In the Old Testament we learn that God is not satisfied with any payment for sin except if an innocent victim is killed to cover the sin. And that is why we read, Without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. God had given the nation of Israel the practice of animal sacrifices to teach them and us the need for an innocent victim to die to pay for the penalty of sin. The trouble is that all the blood that was shed from innocent animals never removed any sins. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 4. The sacrifice of animals was only a means to teach us about our need to pay for sin, but those sacrifices could never satisfy God and could not remove any sins. God accepted the offerings made in faith as an atonement, which means a covering for sin, but that did not remove the sin, it just covered it until Christ came. When Jesus, the Lamb of God, died upon the cross, he was the perfect innocent sacrifice that satisfied all of God's requirements to pay for our sins. Jesus was a sinless man, and that is what God required to put away our sins. Jesus never died for any sins of his own, for he was perfectly sinless, and that is the only way that our sins can be removed. There is no other person and no other way that could be found that would remove the guilt of sin from mankind except for Jesus Christ, the perfect sinless man, to be our sacrificial lamb. People want to try so many ways to reach God, to have their sins removed and to make it into heaven. But God has provided only one way of salvation. If you are trying to earn heaven through your own good works or through your religious efforts, then you are not accepting God's way. Nothing you could ever do would even pay for one sin. The debt must be paid, and the only one with sufficient payment is Jesus. You must place your trust in his death as the payment God requires for your sin. Apart from this, a person cannot be saved and go to heaven. So the reason Jesus had to die was so that you and I could have our sins forgiven. We could receive eternal life and have a home in heaven. This was the only way that God was able to satisfy his own righteous requirements for man to be free from the penalty of sin. If you want to go to heaven, you have to be sure your sins have been dealt with at the cross. Asking Jesus to forgive your sins is to acknowledge by faith that he has paid for the debt of your sins. If you come to Jesus in faith, you should be very grateful that he is willing to die and suffer in your place and to pay your debt. When a person comes to Jesus in faith, often there is an outpouring of emotions 
because they realize how wicked a sinner they are and how unworthy they are of God's love and salvation. They will feel humble and sad, but then they will also realize that God loved them so much and that he is willing to forgive them and to accept them as his own child. This gives the person a sense of peace and joy that the world knows nothing about. I am so glad that God saved my soul when I accepted the death of Jesus upon the cross as payment for my sin and asked him to be my savior. Why not ask him to save your soul today and thank him for dying on the cross for you? Remember, no one will ever get into heaven without accepting Jesus' death as the full payment for their sin. And according to the law, almost all things are purified with blood and without shedding of blood there is no remission. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22